All right, you guys. Well, you can't see the water, but this is a place that I've been to in a couple of my videos. But beside this place, like next door, there is actually a golf course. So what I'm doing now, I'm walking in the woods, have no idea where I'm going, have no idea what's back here. It's just a path back here. And I'm about to try to see if I can get on the golf course undetected. So I'm about to take you guys on the journey with me. Um, I've seen people jogging this area, which makes it kind of weird. I feel like it could be somebody property, but I, I don't see any houses so far. But when I tell you guys, I am deep back here. I am deep back here, like. But, um, yeah. Little creek. This water is going somewhere, but it's... It's just a little creek. But, not gonna lie, guys. This is pretty doggone sketch. Hopefully it leads to the golf course, cause I don't know if you guys can see this, but the golf course is literally over there. There's somebody golfing right there. It's pretty crazy. Don't see any water though. Uh, I don't see any water on this side of the golf course. And I don't know, I'm alone, so definitely not go try it it's, it's just pretty sketch so see any signs but people definitely drive down there like it's i don't know how they would get over here to drive but and that's that's what leads me to believe that somebody property because they probably drive like a not a tractor but like a four-wheeler or something to come up here and fish and they drive it from their house so there has to be a house or something back there. Like I said, it was a bridge back there. And it's just weird for a bridge to be in the middle of the woods. <laughs> Especially if like nobody lives back there or anything, but it was a bridge. I guess we'll fish this beautiful place for a little bit more, a little bit longer. And then see if we can get over there to the golf course, but I really just want one fish on this chatterbait. And I know there's fish in here. They're deep right now on this side, like I was telling you guys before. Oh, stay down. I'm so happy right now. I just got my first jerkbait fish of my life. Oh my gosh, and it felt so good. He wasn't going nowhere. Look at this, you guys. All three hooks in them. Oh my gosh. They're bedding right there in front of me. Look at this. Look at that tail, you guys. All three hooks. And I'm using this color because the last time me and my cousin was here, he was using a lipless crankbait, this exact color. And literally, he hit it on the paws. But look at him. Fat guy, not the biggest guy. Fat guy. Look at that tail. But when I tell you guys, he choked it, literally on the paws. <laughs> on the paws. I've been trying to figure out all day what these fish, there you go, what these fish want. I had a bite earlier on the chatterbait, no bites on the jig, but granted I'm out here at the same place because I know it's full of fish. And honestly, right now, I'm literally, I know these fish should be getting ready to spawn. And it has to be some big fish in here. This place is loaded with fish. I'm literally chasing my PB at this place. My goal is to catch my PB out of this place because simply because I know they're here. But this right here, it dives, I think, three to six feet. I think it's up to six feet. But when you jerk it, it do this number in the water in that flash and this is the same silver flash that 
my cousin was catching his on. So I decided to pull it out. Hopefully we can get another one. But now that I know I need to slow it down, cause I was doing it kind of fast. I was popping and I wasn't letting it sit that much, but he literally smacked it when it was just sitting. I wish you guys could see this under the water, but this thing under the water is like sexy. It's pretty sexy. That flash that it gives off when you give it that little pop, it's crazy. And then obviously it dives deeper when you pop it like that. That's crazy. Hopefully I can get another one for you guys. And I really want to get it on camera, that last one. Oh, got one. I got him. Just talking about it. Just talking about it. Stay on, baby. They're not going anywhere with the jerk bait. Get out of the other one, you guys. The freaking jerk bait. Oh my gosh, that is a healthy fish. Whoa, that is a fat one. The jerk bait. I, f I found the secret touch, you guys. Please don't shake because if you shake. There we go. Oh, he bit my finger. Whew. Look at this beauty, you guys. You guys can't tell, but these fish are pretty fat. And I mean, they're not the biggest, you know, they're not five, no, four, three, even three, even two. They're probably about right at two, you know, pound and a half, a little over that. That's where majority of these fish at. I've caught some a little bit bigger, probably about two and a half range but these fish are thick and healthy. I haven't seen too many bluegill in here. I, so I have no idea, minnows or anything. So I have no idea what they're feeding on, but they are healthy. And that is all that matters. Whoo, scared me. Whoo. And I'm telling you guys, I've never used a jerk bait before. Literally, I saw some videos on YouTube, people slaying not even only bass, but you know, other species of fish. It was catching multiple different species of fish and they were using jerk baits. And so I literally went and bought some, used it. I bought like five or six of them, like all different colors and literally used them one day. Had no luck, no bites at all. You know, they were really finicky then cause it was like December. So it was like really cold. And apparently that's what you're supposed to use when they're finicky. And um, bought them, used them one time, never bought them again. And today I was just looking through my uh, tackle box to see what I could throw. And I just remembered that my cousin caught them on that silver um, lipless crankbait. And I thought I had a silver one, but I don't. I have a gold lipless, not a silver. So I was like, you know what? This is the only thing in here is silver. I know that they'll eat it 100% for a fact, they'll eat it. And I tied this thing on. And honestly, I didn't even think I was gonna catch any fish. And I done caught two. And I wanted to get one, on, get it on camera for you guys, and I did. The second, that last one, I got it on camera for you guys. And like I said, they hit it on the paws. And how I know I'm getting a bite is because when I jerk it, you know, I, I'll tighten my lineup just a little bit, but I still kind of leave it slack until, you know, I go to jerk it again and my lines start moving. And then, I mean, you got three treble hooks in a fish and you getting all three in them, they ain't really too much setting hooks. And when I say they hitting this thing aggressive, like I can also see my line moving, but at the same time, I can actually feel the bite as well. But I've never had a jerk bait bite before, so I didn't know if, you, if it happens like that or what. So that was the first experience for me. And man, I'm not gonna lie, that feels really good. Got another one, you guys. They must be schooling. It's literally the same spot. Same spot. 
same spot. Same spot, you guys. I'm looking for Big Mama. Um, pliers, man. You definitely don't want to be hooked. I've been hooked a few times, but not to the point where, you know, I had to do any type of procedure or anything. They're getting ready to bed, but any type of procedure or anything, but it doesn't feel good at all. So this guy has a, okay, it's feeling good. There you go, buddy. Swim off. You definitely don't want to be hooked. Any fisherman out there, if you've ever been hooked, tell them. It is not fun at all. But I'm literally about right here, casting out, and they're hitting about halfway back. It could be a school of them right there. They could be stacked, or they could just be roaming because the bites, I mean, I'm catching fish which I couldn't catch anything earlier, but, um, so they could be roaming and they just happen to be roaming by when I got this jerk big in front of them. They, they can't resist it. Like got another one on the pause. Another one on the pause, you guys. This is a, this is a pretty thick one. Fourth one of the day. Oh yes, this is the biggest one. This is definitely the biggest one of the day. Yeah. Please don't hook me. Big, healthy girl. <sighs> that right there, people. It's the biggest one of the day so far. This is probably the, the thickest one I've caught out of here, but this one is, is really thick and healthy. Really thick and healthy. But, I'm gonna let it get back to it. Man, that's a healthy fish. Healthy fish. Really healthy. It's like a football, so thick. The jerk bait, man, is the win for today. Go ahead. So freaking cool. So freaking cool on this right here. Jerk bait. Four to six feet is what it dives. So freaking cool, man. All right, people. So I think that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching and tune, for tuning in to another episode of Fishing with Flim. Uh, make sure you guys like, you, sub you subscribe, you comment. Let me know anything you guys want to see in the future or you know, anything, tips, tri tricks, anything you guys want to know or, you know, any feedback. So um, with that being said, I did not film <laughs> an intro for this video because one thing that's been happening a lot to me lately is I have things on my mind and I have plans and I have all these visions of, you know, kind of planning out the, the trip and kind of what I want to do and accomplish. And it never worked. So today I went fishing. I winged it, but I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what I wanted to do versus what happened. So I met, I met obviously at a place that I've been to in previous videos, but beside there is a golf course. And I wanted to see if I can find any ponds over there, but I parked where I normally would park if I was fishing in this pond. And there's like a little path that I see people running all the time while fishing and they go that way. Unfortunately, it it leads to the loft, 
uh, the golf course in a way, but I didn't see any water. And I didn't want to be, you know, so far away from my car, you know, I couldn't see it off in the woods, you know, with a backpack on and two fishing rods, and I'm trying to sneak over there. So, long story short, I decided not to do it, but since I ended up fishing um, the same waters that I fished, I tried baits that I've never tried before. Um, I tried a chatterbait. I had one bite on the chatterbait, didn't bring the fish in, but that would have been my first chatterbait bite uh, fish. I tried um, a jig, the new jig by the Googans, the little juicy jig or little juice jig with a Ned rig tied on the back. Zero bites on that. And from the videos, as you guys can see, I got my first, first four fish on the jerk bait. I've never used a jerk. I've used a jerk bait one time zero luck but today was my first time catching a jerk bait fish so thank you guys for experiencing that with me um it's kind of cold outside so obviously i wasn't like crazy excited because i'm freezing right now but like i said before thank you guys for tuning in um to another episode let me know what you guys want to see and also um shout out to carlos and malik you guys want to see a catch cook and clean and i will have one coming for you guys soon so shout out to you guys for being down there in the comments below and um i'll see you guys on the next one peace